Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. It's Brian from Short Circuit of Brewers. And before I get started, I got a question about Homebrew Wednesday, and maybe SJ Poor can chime in on this. I really want to know, do I need to do videos every week? I'd like to try to, but I just don't know if I can put up enough interesting content for every week. I don't know. I watch everybody's videos, and everybody generally has something going on, a beer or something or this or that. And I find it interesting, but I just don't know if I can bring enough interesting stuff to the table or not. So let me know if it's okay if, you know, I'm kind of sporadic with the Homebrew Wednesday updates. Um, you know, let me know in the comments below. Because I'd, I'd like to join you guys in doing that and do little stuff here and there. But uh, just want to know if that's, if that's acceptable or not <laughs> for the program. So you guys let me know. But as you would imagine, since I am doing a Homebrew Wednesday, I do have a couple of things to update. Uh, first of all... The Fat Tire clone, I believe, has reached its terminal gravity, and it is currently sitting at 1010, and I've got some uh, clarifying agent that I want to put in it, and I'm going to probably be doing that sometime today, and uh, hopefully get it cleared up to be able to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the uh, real thing. So that's what I'm wanting to do is a side-by-side -side comparison, kind of a, I think I'm doing, we're talking about doing a live one since we did a live brew of the beer, let's do a live comparison, so... But uh, with that being said, a uh, little hydrometer sample there, as you can see. No, it's not a, it's not a New England IPA. It's just a little bit uh, cloudy still from all the yeast action. So it's, it's settled out pretty good. But uh, I'm going to put some, some uh, clarifying agent in there. But uh, happy Hope Brew Wednesday, guys. Even not carbonated, it's still pretty, pretty darn good. So it'll be interesting to see how close the recipe is for, uh, from the original one. So... Um, the other update that I've got is I did recently rejoin the homebrew club that I was a part of a few years ago. Have found some time to be able to get out there and uh, fellowship with those folks. We had a meeting this past uh, Monday. It was over at uh, Sideswipe Brewing, and they always do a competition every month whenever they do the the uh, meetings. This uh, meeting it was. Any beer over 40 IBUs. So as you can imagine, there were a lot of IPAs in that. Um, I don't know why there weren't some other ones, because I mean, there's a lot of other categories that fall under over 40 IBUs, but whatever. So the, uh, the the group is clearly a bunch of hopheads, which is okay with me. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> so, But uh, we were at Sideswipe Brewing, and it's a little brewery that's uh, it's on the what's south, kind of southeast of, or southwest of Columbus. Uh, in a little uh, warehouse district. They got a really cool little space there. I, I, always, I always like those kind of little breweries that are kind of tucked away somewhere. They, don't get me wrong, I like the big ones too, but those are just, you know, these little ones, they just feel kind of uh, homey and, and I, you know, I really enjoy going to those. They actually started out on a spike brewing uh, system, 100 gallon mash tun, you know, boil kettle, hot liquor tank, gas fired system. And they have recently upgraded their brewery to a larger one. I think it's probably, if I, if I had to guess, it's probably somewhere between 7 and 10 barrels. I didn't get a chance to ask them all the details on that. but um, So that's that's definitely good that uh, they're progressing and uh, being successful in selling their beers. All their beers are really good. Um, I think they had like eight, 8 or 9 on tap. And uh, they were all really good, at least what I tried. Uh, my wife tried a couple of them as well. Kelly liked everything she had. So, you know, it was... Uh, it was a fun time. Um, I think we had like 17 entries or something like that in the uh, in the competition. So the poor judges got pounded a little bit. <laughs> but uh, hey, you know what? It's all in the name of beer. So you know whatever. But uh, so you know that that's uh, another update of what's going on. And um, also uh, getting some stuff together for the automated brewing system. I'm going to try that out. I've kind of I've, I've almost you know it's almost a against it when I first built my Herm system. But, you know, as I do this electric brewing series a little bit more, I'm just, I'm kind of wanting to, you know, open my eyes a little bit and see what else is out there and see what everybody else is doing. Cause I know there's some stuff based on Raspberry Pi. Um, this one's interesting because it's based on Windows with Arduino hardware and stuff. So I like to tinker around with stuff and I, you know, I like electronics and stuff like that. So I think it should be really cool. Um, heard from the guy that uh, is working on that and I should have some of the, the uh, hardware uh, by next week. So it'll be fun to kind of start checking that out and install the software on a computer. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do yet with that. Um, I've got a Weiss device, which if you are familiar with uh, enterprise um, or, you know, big companies, they'll use like a small 
basic computer for some of their functions where they connect to a mainframe or whatever. So I bought one of those a while back for a computer in the in the kitchen and never really used it much. And I coupled that with a, a POS monitor or a, a point of sale system that you know, like you see in a restaurant. So I'm going to try to couple it with that, mount it to the wall in the brewery here. I'm not going to do anything to disassemble my mechanical system or my, you know, my analog system because I want to make sure I have something uh, back up to brew with. So uh, that's that's what's going on with that. But uh, other than that, I mean, you know, I think that's uh, pretty much covers what I've got going on. Um, really appreciate all the support that uh, everybody's been given and comments and everything like that. So really been having a good time putting out more content again. I, I kind of, I missed it a lot. I, I enjoy creating the content and doing the videos and all that stuff. So, and uh, being part of a great community. I mean, you know, the online community is, to me, is probably just as good as a local community. So it's great to be a part of both at the same time. So, um, you know, with that, happy homebrew Wednesday. We will see you on the next one. And uh, as we always say, have a beer. The weekend is near. Cheers, everybody. Uh, 40 IBUs. Anything over 40 yeah, IBUs, okay. Who is that? Okay, cool. So anything over 40 IBUs, and uh, we had, or, I don't know if it was a record, but it was, we had 17 entries, more than I wanted, uh, but I took it, and uh, in third place, we have uh, Stacy Green, did I get it right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stacy uh, got third place with his IPA. He called it Happy Bunny Nart. <laughs> Happy Bunny Nart. Oh, oh, Woo! Right. <laughs> Happy Bunny Nart. Happy Bunny Nart. Take it. Uh, and second place was Craig Davis with his IPA, and it was. Marky Mickey Mark face. Murky Mickey Mark face. Murky Mickey Mark face. Sorry. I can't read. I, I just had my vision test done and I, my eyes are dilated. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's from the vision test, that's, right? That's yeah, right. okay. That's Whatever. Right. I, didn't, I didn't drink any beer tonight. Um, in first place was uh, Brian Gallo with his black IPA. Uh, called it Black Brian IPA. Ryan Gallo, come on down. Price is right. Price is right. <laughs> <laughs>